today from uh, Biaggi. Here's another look at what happened in the first part. Poor old Fabrizio taken out, quite literally, in that first accident. Vittorio Iannuzzo also involved, and he has gone to the medical centre. We'll update you. At the restart, well, this was another look at what happened to Fabrizio. Nasty, nasty moment. And I'm so glad to say, tough as he is, he got back up, put his other boot back on, and saddled up again, like the cowboy that he is. And away they went for the second race. And somehow, some way, Fabrizio able to make the line on the spare bike. That's where Inutso went down. Nasty, nasty. Quickly they red flagged it, I'm glad to say. But that wasn't the first. Here was another one. Russell Holland diving into the back of Carlos Checker. Kianari taking avoiding action, but also falling out. And somehow Safoglu avoiding Checker's bike. He almost got that in his face, but luckily survived. Red flag, obviously, at that point. And then the restart. Cracking start from Bayliss. He was away at the races, down towards the Doohan curve. And he's starting to get into Doohan-esque territory in terms of the love of the Australian fans, for sure. If not more so. He eked out a lead of over two and a half, three seconds. And then slowly but surely, while Corsa was battling at Honda, and every time he seemed to go in that corner, he seemed to take a place, but then lose it somewhere else. But the man on the move was, without doubt, Massimiliano Biaggi. The Roman emperor was trying to claim some Roman advantage as he got right up to second place before that moment and yep it was an all knuckle fall Fabrizio meanwhile boom <laughs> was he having fun shaping up masking off facing off somehow Corsa saved that one he should go and do some rodeo he's got a career in rodeo if he wants it after this that was some save but the save the best to last simply the best <laughs> Troy Bayliss